Yeah, so there's a lot of excitement internationally when people first started to detect it in sewage um, because that was somewhat of a surprising finding, um, which is one of the many things we've learned with this new virus. So we have been collecting sewage from a number of wastewater treatment plants throughout the country and we've begun to develop the methodology to test it for the genetic material of the COVID-19 virus. So there's some science we need to do right now to really understand how to, how to have the most sensitive methods and how to best apply them. So the challenges of looking for viruses in wastewater are mainly due to the low numbers present in wastewater. It's not just as simple as taking uh, a teaspoon size of wastewater and looking under a microscope. Much more complicated procedures are required. It's a bit like uh, looking for a needle in a haystack. So a litre of wastewater needs to be collected and that needs to be concentrated down to the size of a tablespoon of water. From that, we use a molecular detection technique to detect the virus or detect the RNA from the virus. And we use a technique that's extremely sensitive and specific to the target, i.e. the COVID-19 virus. These can be improved and that's one of our aims over the next few months. The samples that we tested were collected at the beginning of April and the levels we found are extremely low. So right at the limit of detection of what we can see. So it just really confirms that we're able to detect it in sewage samples. So now we're trying to understand how you'd actually use that to monitor um, for the prevalence in the community. And there's a lot of things we need to understand. Hopefully in another month, we could be testing all the sewage in New Zealand and finding absolutely nothing. Um, and that wouldn't actually be that useful. You might start to test um, sewage, for example, close to Auckland Airport, or you might test in areas where there was a outbreak occurred um, and really how we apply it in New Zealand will, will, is something we need to determine.